How can I delete an old account if I forgot my email and password? You'd be surprised at how often questions like this come across my desk. For whatever reason, it's a very common scenario. I think it's most common with folks who are using or required to use an email account for some other service, but they don't actually use email themselves or use it very much. They end up losing the email address and the password associated with it, and then are lost when it comes time to reset a password or something with respect to the other account. The short answer is not pleasant. How can I delete an old account if I forgot my email and password? If you've lost your password, there are recovery steps. If you've also lost your email address, recovery becomes significantly more difficult. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks to the patrons of AskLeo for making all this possible. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information and how you can get access to exclusive patrons only content. Question. How can I delete my old TikTok account if I forgot my email and password? You probably can't. While the original question refers to a specific online service, TikTok, the answer is pretty much the same for all of them. Your options are few to non-existent. If you can't log in, you can't delete. In order to delete account, you need to prove you are the rightful owner of that account. Think about it. If that weren't the case, anyone could delete any account at any time. That just doesn't make sense. Only the owner of an account can delete it. How do you prove you're the owner? By logging in. It's that simple. If you can't log into the account, you can't delete the account. Login recovery. All instructions to delete an account begin with instructions to recover your access to the account. You can do that by following the forgot my password or can't log in or equivalent link on the services login page. Follow the instructions to recover access to your account. Once you have access, you can delete the account if you still want to. Most of those instructions begin with a request that you provide your email address. If you can't remember that, you have problems. Email address plus password equals identity. Your email address combined with your password is, as far as the service is concerned, your identity. If you don't know your email address, then you don't know who you are, at least not in a way you can prove to the service in question. You've lost your identity. Without it, there is no way to prove you are who you say you are. There's no way to prove you have the right to delete the account. Straws to grasp at. Some services have additional recovery methods, but almost all must be set up beforehand and kept current. You might be able to get a recovery code sent to an alternate email address or phone if the service supports that. You might be able to get friends on the service to somehow confirm you are who you say you are and should be allowed access to the account if the service supports that. The bottom line, however, is that there is no magical back door. All the recovery options start in the same place, forgot my password or its equivalent. Follow that path to recover your account. If you can't, if none of the options work for you for whatever reason, then the account is no longer yours. Abandon it and get on with your life. Prevention. In addition to getting on with your life, it might be wise to learn from this event so as not to repeat it. That means, Never forget your email address. Save it someplace safe if it's not something you use often. Use a password vault like LastPass to remember for you. Just don't forget your master password. That cannot be recovered. Don't let your email address expire from lack of use. Log in once in a while to make sure it still works and is current. Nothing's worse than remembering it only to realize you no longer have access to it. Don't forget your password. Use that password vault. Set up recovery information like alternate email addresses and phone numbers and keep them current. Take it all seriously. That last point might be the most important. I hear this scenario most often from folks, often kids, who haven't yet learned how important all this is and have just been setting up an account for fun. 
Eventually that for fun account becomes important to them and then poof, something happens and they lose access forever. Don't let that be you. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 121900. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.